Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I have some more news regarding Marvel's Warhammer 40k Sisters of Battle comic book series. Because in the wake of the first issue's release, we now have examples of game journalists complaining that it is not diverse enough, as exemplified by this Polygon article written by Charlie Hall titled, Warhammer 40k Sisters of Battle comic place it too safe for a diversifying audience. Which by the way appears to be one of those articles that originally had a different title. In this case, Warhammer 40k Sisters of Battle comic is stuck in the game's past. In other words, Polygon is upset that Warhammer 40k Sisters of Battle is made for actual fans of Warhammer 40k, and not the bubbling cancer from Sigmarxism that is the Wokehammer Brigade. And with that in mind, you'll be completely unsurprised to hear that the article does take the time to smear longtime fans of 40k, saying, and I quote, Games Workshop has been going through a very slow and very public transformation lately. Traditionally, its franchises have been the exclusive playground of well-heeled white men, and GW's pricey products as well as their art assets have all echoed that messaging. Nowhere is that more clear than the canonical representation of the Sisters of Battle, sexy gritty women with sleek armor and enormous military assets. In other words, this is Polygon's way of trying to suggest that fans of Warhammer 40k are all perverts for believing that military personnel perhaps would be more likely to be physically fit than literal land whales. And of course, the reason for this shaming is rather obvious, and highly, highly ironic, because the SJWs that infest modern game journalism, as well as the Wokehammer community, have been busy absolutely fetishizing fat women for the last few years, and are quite upset that they they don't have any wank material in the form of women who have more jelly rolls in a French bakery. And to add to another layer of irony, I do have to actually point out that despite their claims, I wouldn't exactly call the women of Sisters of Battle to be particularly good looking. Sure, they are physically fit, but the veterans of this comic are all covered in battle scars, and even the one rookie present has a butter face. And to add yet another layer of irony, I do also have to point out that despite this particular article's claims, the detachment of Sisters of Battle in this this particular comic are legitimately diverse from what I've seen as well, making it very clear that the one and only thing that Charlie Hall is complaining about is once again that there are no fat chicks, like the absolute chubby chaser that he is. But let's now move on to my thoughts on the big picture. And I have to say that it's usually a good sign when game journalists start complaining in this manner, because it suggests that the piece of art that they are talking about is not just another vapid piece of propaganda meant to push their ideology. And hopefully this will be a sign that Sisters of Battle continues to be a solid comic book series. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Oh.